Yahuchanan, John 21. After these things, Yahusha showed himself again to the Talmudim at the Sea of Tarviria, and on this wise showed he himself. There were together Shimon Kepha and Tamon, rather Taom, called Didymus, and Nethanel of Tena in Galil, and the sons of Zavdi, and two other of his Talmudim. Shimon Kepha said unto them, I go a-fishing, they say unto him. We also go with you. They went forth, and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, Yahusha stood on the shore. But the Talmudim knew not that it was Yahusha. Then Yahusha said unto them, Children, have ye any meat? And they answered him, No. And he said unto them, Cast the net on the right side of the ship, and ye shall find. They cast, therefore, and now they were not able to draw it for the multitude of fish. Therefore that Talmudi, whom Yahusha loved, said unto Kepha, It is Adonai. Now when Shimon Kepha heard that it was Adonai, he girt his fisher's coat unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. And the other Talmudim came in a little ship, for they were not far from land, but as it were two hundred cubits, dragging the net with fish. As soon as, rather, as soon then as they came, rather, as soon then as they were come to land, they saw a fire of coals there, and fish laid thereon, and bread. And Yahusha said unto them, Bring of the fish which ye have now caught. Shimon Kepha went up and drew the net to land full of great fish, a hundred and fifty and three. And for all there were so many, yet was not the net broken. Yahusha said unto them, Come and dine. And none of the Talmudim dared ask him, Who are you? Knowing that it was Adonai. Yahusha then comes and takes bread and gives them, and fish likewise. This is now the third time that Yahusha showed himself to his Talmudim. After that he was risen from the dead. So when they had dined, Yahusha said to Shimon Kepha, Shimon, son of Yonah, do you love me more than these? He said unto him, Yea, Adonai, you know that I love you. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Shimon, son of Yonah, do you love me? He said unto him, Yea, Adonai, you know that I love you. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Shimon, son of Yonah, do you love me? Kepha was grieved, because he said unto him the third time, Do you love me? And he said unto him, Adonai, you know all things. You know that I love you. Yahusha said unto him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say unto you, When you were young, you girded yourself and walked whither you would. But when you shall be old, you shall stretch forth your hands, and another shall gird you, and carry you whither you would not. This spoke he, signifying by what death he should glorify Yahuwah. And when he had spoken thus, he said unto him, Follow me. Then Kepha, turning about, seized the Talmudi, whom Yahusha loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Adonai, which is he that betrays you? Kepha, seeing him, said to Yahusha, Adonai, and what shall this man do? Yahusha said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? Follow me. Then went this saying abroad among the brethren, that the Talmudi should not die. But Yahusha said not unto him, He shall not die. But if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to you? This is the Talmudi, 
which testifies of these things and wrote these things. And we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Yahusha did, the which, if they should be written every one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the Sepharim that should be written. Amen.